MSR brings some very competitive power to the people with an A1000G. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tour Tech. If you're new here, I'm recently four piece Ryan's here, Wookiee Triple XL. And today's review is going to be about one of MSI's new power supplies. It's my first soiree with one of their power supplies. And I've got to say, overall, I'm pretty damn impressed. There's literally only one change they would make, and it's actually nothing physical about the power supply. It's more just the warranty period, which I think is the only thing I would like to see just extended a bit because the modular nature of this and the upgrades with Peace Express 5.0 connectivity actually put it really squarely in a class of its own there's actually nothing i can see across the evtech store that's competitive with this on feature set at the price point there is unfortunately for them good old faithful which is what i run on a daily basis which is very competitive with them on price and warranty however but with that being said let's get into what's in the box so the packaging is as it stands as well i've got to say it's really nicely done if i was to look at picking this up off the shelf i would be pretty drawn to it just by its information delivery along the back you're going to see it gives you a full set of obviously the cables and stuff that are in there but what's most important is its excursion rating and that is because they have done a, a monorail 12 volt at 83 and a half amps so you could technically get all 1000 watts of this out of the 12 volts so if you want to do you know multiple gpus off of this as an example you're going to be covered because the wattage can literally draw the entire power supplies worth of wattage which is pretty sick inside of there you're going to see this really nice little bag it's got all of the extra cables and stuff in for the modular cable system and two of those cables should be very very interesting to you because like i said it's got pisa express 5.0 compatibility so it's got that new that new connector uh, which goes to the other side for the new connectors on the 4090s. So you'll be able to use 5000 series GPUs or 4090 with that as well. But it's also got one that splits out to two 8 pins, which is what we're using to power this today. I had to obviously double check in case there was fire hazard with that connector. And uh, I'm happy to report absolutely no fires have gone off in the studio. The power supply itself, I've got to say, is really attractive. I really like the case and stuff that they've put it into. It looks really sleek and neat, and there's nothing overly shouty about it. You don't need to scream at people, look, I've got a thousand watt power supply out of your side window. It's very, very understated. And you'll be met with a tiny little stick on the back, just letting you know about its hybrid fan mode. So it's got a silent fan mode built into it for uh, when you're op not operating uh, at 40% of the TDP or less, then it won't actually need to engage that. So if you buy this for a really power efficient system, then you probably wouldn't even hear the fan at any points, which is kind of nice. It's a 135 millimeter fan as well. So it does need a lot of RPM to push a lot of air through the system. And what's quite impressive about that is it's a full two centimeter shorter than most of the 1001 power supplies it comes in at 15 by 15 and then 86 on their height which is just the default height because you have to have that foot to fit in the mounting brackets which is going to be very helpful when you try and put it inside of a machine of course but having it be a bit shorter it does mean that it's going to be easier to get in there if you need to add cables later which is nice and there's obviously going to be more storage space at the bottom for you to tuck and wrap those cables in between the drive cage now it's all good and well, but can it handle the heat? Well, we put it through the 600 watt power cycle that the test bench does do. There's 320 watts being drawn by the 3070 Ti, and then there's uh, the 13600K, which is set at 200 watts currently, because I just don't have real cooling to draw more power out of it effectively on the test bench right now. But that's already 520 watts. Throw in another 70 for the motherboard and the cooler, you know, the pumps running, obviously, the uh, LEDs and the fans it all is going to get to about 600 watt pretty comfortably. And by comfortably, I mean that the fan barely actually spun. There was absolutely no coil one, which I'm really happy to report about. None of the hissing and stuff that you normally get from, um, ch let's say cheaper made components. And these uh, good old Japanese capacitors are giving the power phase that we expect. And I ran a stress test on uh, good old time spa just uh, for posterity's sake and it came back at 99.2 so the wattage delivery to the cpu and gp for gaming is going to be 
exactly what it's quoted to be. It's got, it's going to hold up under pressure. Um, and then, like I said, this is not the most GPU ever, but it's still 320 watts. I mean, if you compare that to a 4070 currently at 180 watts, it's going to be fun for, for I think most systems. What's really nice is that PCI Express 5.0. So if you need to use that for something like a 4090 that can drop to 450 watt, at least you know that that's going to work. And I don't think um, adding 100, 150 watt to the overall system draw is going to affect the performance of the power supply. I did test it in the, in the silent mode. The fan does come on, um, but it, it's honestly much of a muchness. It's so quiet as it stands already. You're probably going to hear fans from your cooler and from your CPU ahead of that. I don't know if you can hear the hum right now, but it's, oh, sorry. It's actually coming from the exposed pump that's sitting on the on the test bench right now. So nothing, it didn't create any noise or any exceptional amount of heat. And if this is sitting in the bottom basement with its own, you know, in the bottom out the back power loop or, or cooling loop at least, then it's not really going to add any heat or anything like that to the system. And that's what brings me to my sort of opening point is you can see with the bag and all the nice little spares and cables and everything that they've done, they've done exactly what we want to see. There's only braiding on these, on this set. Everything else is the normal uh, rotatable plastic, which is better for going around hard corners, etc. They've done all the right things. The input face on the power supply is perfect. All the connectors feel great. Everything is exactly what I would expect from a power supply of this current price point. And I looked at the price point and I went, damn, that's really competitive because it's got that PCI Express 5.0. The only thing is, the next closest competitor there is the Cooler Master V1000, which is what I daily drive on my main system. And it's a really, really good PSU. It doesn't have as nice cables, honestly, or the PCI Express 5.0, but it's got a longer warranty. So it means my cost of ownership is just going to be guaranteed sort of to be better. By that, it's it's just quick maths. If this dies in three years, that would be very, very sad. So I think that the only thing MSI needs to do, honestly, is extend the warranty to five years. Uh, and if the component quality is as good as they say it is, and it looks like it is as good as they say it is under test, then I don't really see too much of an issue for that. Even if it increases the price, maybe 5%, to 10% even. I think that would be a lot more appealing. Let me know about that in the comments down below, uh, your thoughts on that. Do you want to buy a power supply that has a five to 10 year sort of warranty? Would that swing you your decision making on a power supply? Because everything else physically on this is top, top, top grade and quality. Anywho, that is all I have for you on the MSI A1000G Pizza Express 5.0 edition. If you have enjoyed this review, please hit us up with a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side. I know you want to feel like